Hello everyone, my name is Nick. You may know me as Hello Insomnia. And today I want to show you a new UBOT plugin which will help you connect your customers to several link indexing services. Using the link indexing plugin, you will be able to quickly introduce a new feature in your link building programs. So let's jump right in and see the link indexing plugin in action. These are the commands and functions. This first version supports six different sites. The first is Elite Link Indexer. The second is L Indexed. The third is Link Centaur. The fourth, Indexification. Then we have Linklicious and One Hour Indexing as well. Most of these work the same way. They're going to return a function, which is going to, or they are, it's going to be a function which is going to return a result of either OK or error and some sort of error. Linklicious and one hour indexing are going to be a little bit different, and we'll get to that. Uh, included in the uh, folder, you will get, of course, the plugin as well as two example files. You will get this example file and you will get this example file. The first is going to show you all of the different options that is included with each service so that you can copy this into a program when you want to use uh, each one individually and have the most options possible. The second is going to show you more of a real life example where you can just include something like the API key in these checkboxes and the user can check what services they want to use and include their API keys. And this will go through and it will uh, look to see if it's been checked and if it has, it will then call that service. This is just an example uh, just to make your life a little bit easier so that you can copy the code out from here and then add it into your own program a little bit easier. So let's go through and take a look at each service. First, we have Elite Link Indexer. You're going to have your API key, campaign name, the number of days you want to drip feed the campaign, and your URLs. The actual function is down here. As you can see, it's named Elite Link Indexer, and it has all of these different variables. So Everyone's a little bit different, but they're all fairly similar. Some of them accept a little bit more URLs uh, than others. Some have like a minimum. Once you drag the uh, function or the command, it will tell you all the relevant things. In this case for L index, you need to have between 10 URLs and 10,000 URLs. If you have eight URLs or if you have 12,000 URLs, you will get a validation error that is something the plugin does. It will return general uh, validation errors for all of the different services instead of trying to call out if there's an error. Let's look at another one. Here's Link Centaur. And here is the actual function down here. So we have the API key, the campaign name. This allows you to drip feed either uh, a number of days or the amount of links per day. So if we take a look and see what that looks like here, this there's a drip feed option here, which you can choose. I added it up here um, just so that you can copy this if you want to use this template. But otherwise, you can select inside of the plugin here if you want to drip feed URLs. If you do, here's your number of days. Otherwise, here's your links per day. Moving on, we have indexification. This is the indexification function. You have your API key, your campaign name, number of days or links to drip feed, and then the option. So it's it's similar to Link Centaur in that you can drip feed based on the number of days or the number of links per day. Now, Linklicious and one hour indexing are a little bit different. These are going to be commands and they have a little bit more functionality. So they're gonna return the results into a table. And the reason for that is because 
Linklicious and one hour indexing allow you to add to campaigns based on a batch ID number. And so this is going to send back some information such as the number of links which were accepted, rejected, as well as a batch ID number. So it's going to return that so that you can use that in future campaigns uh, to add to them. A lot of these other services do that same thing, but they go based on the campaign name. So if you wanted to uh, add links to Link Centaur, I believe does this, and I wanted to have the campaign plugin test, I added 10 links, and then I come back later, I wanted to add more to that same campaign, I can use that same campaign name. That works for some of them, you will have to check with each individual one of course one thing i want to note about is it l indexed you will see that there's not a drip feed option like most of the others have inside of the l indexed dashboard you can set up the api drip feed setting so that's something that your users will have to set if they want all the links coming in through the api to be seven days or ten days and so on uh, so we looked at everything except for one hour indexing, I believe, which is the same as Linklicious in that it returns a table with some information. So let's go ahead and see uh, some of the ways that this is, uh, some of the results that this is going to display. I have set this up so that I have my API key, a campaign name, a drip feed, and some URLs. So if I just hit run, it's going to show that it was a success. What happened there was I sent down all of my information to this function and you can copy this straight into your own program. This is going to return either success or an error. Like if I were to maybe add some random letters and numbers in the API key, we can see that there was an invalid API key, or maybe if I remove the campaign name, we will get error no campaign name. So for the moment, it's alerting it. You can change this to display it, of course, in the UI or do anything you want with it. So let's go ahead and do another one. Um, most of these are gonna work the exact same way except for, again, Linklicious and One Hour Indexing are going to work slightly differently. So let's try one of these. Here's Linklicious. I have everything set up, I believe, correctly. Okay, so as you can see, we have a batch ID number. And this is going to return back so that we can use it again if we need it. Also, what happened right after, because we had a successful result. It also went on to check our remaining limit for the day. And so this is saying that we have, you know, 49,000 uh, for the day. So the, the remaining limit functions are only available for linklicious, one hour indexing, and indexification. So these right three will have another function that looks something like this. Uh, that allows you to check the user's remaining limit. These first three do not currently have that feature. Uh, that's not implemented in their API, so I can't add that. Um, so again, that was the first uh, example. This example is more of like a real life example. The first example has a lot more options. In real life, you won't be adding, you won't be giving your users all of these options. Uh, your app ID for Linklicious and One Hour Indexing, it's optional because you can override my app ID if you want to, for example. Uh, that's something the user is never going to see, but it's here in this first example because I wanted to show you everything. The second example, again, this is more of like a real life scenario. And uh, again, this is included, so you can just copy it out and it will it'll make it easier to add to your own programs because right now this is just going to display an alert if I tick this box and I enter you know fake API key 
it is oh and I didn't send it any URLs either. Again, this is just this is just an example to show you um, the setup for how you would add this to your own program. So over here we have all of those different uh, functions already built for you, which include of course the actual calls to the API, but I built the whole function around it as well. And it checks for a success message for all of them, including Linklicious and one hour indexing, which use the table. So that's already set up all for you. All you really need to do is pass in the parameters. And so what would happen is you would have your, your, your GUI here, similar to this, and then you would have your link building process happen. And then once your link building process is done, you would set a variable such as URLs to contain all the successful URLs in which you want to index. And then all you need to do is check to see which, which services the user has checked. And then it wouldn't hurt as well to check, um, to add another check to see if they have entered an API key or not. And then you can pass in your own uh, parameters. For example, I'll show you a couple examples. Uh, the first is always going to be the API key, so I'm not going to go over that each time. But the second is typically going to be a campaign name. And this is usually required by the services, so it's always required. Uh, the campaign name in this example is program name, comma, number of links submitted. So if your program was a super awesome link builder, you could do something like this, and then it's 482 links submitted so that it is a unique campaign name. Another way that you can do it is by including the date function within Ubot. So it will have the, uh, you know, month, day, year, uh, hour, minute, second, and that will also make it a unique campaign name. Alternatively, you can keep track of the number of runs. You can include this, uh, include drip feeding. You could disable drip feeding automatically for the users so that it just gets sent all at once. Um, you can just include the date function. If you don't really want to uh, write the campaign names, you just put the date function in there. And uh, yeah, so that's the link indexing plugin. Again, you're going to get the plugin, which connects to six different services currently, as well as this example with uh, the HTML built for you, uh, the link indexing functions, which are also in the first example here, but this has everything so that if you want full control, if you want to give your users full control over what they're doing, you can just copy this out of here and add it into your own programs.